Well, hello everyone. Tim Stack here from the Utah Education Network, and I wanted to demo um, a little app that makes creating stop motion animation projects very easy um, on the iPad. Um, so stop motion is just, of course, the process of taking a whole bunch of pictures and in each picture moving the object a little bit. And when you play all those pictures together, it looks animated. Um, so, you know, lots of teachers do these kind of projects in the class. Um, it can be used anywhere from st storytelling um, to illustrating and letting students demonstrate what they know. So for instance, let's say you could give an assignment to students say, hey, we're, we're studying fractions, you know, you were in third grade and we're starting to study fractions and I want you to create a, pro a product that shows that you understand the idea of one-fourth. Okay, so you give that student the assi uh, that assignment to students um, and let them come up with a way to demonstrate it uh, and then let them make a, a stop-motion movie out of it. Okay, so uh, the app, there's a, there's a bunch of stop motion apps out there. Um, the one I'm going to demo is called Stop Motion Studio. It's there. Whoop, didn't mean to do that. It's there in the upper in the upper left. Stop Motion Studio. I believe it's 99 cents, and it's quite easy to use. I think third graders could use it just fine. Okay, so I want to start a new project. So I'm going to tap that plus right there in the middle. It opens up a new project. You can see I'm, I've kind of got my iPad set up here. The one thing that is really useful um, in stop motion is some way to hold your iPad. So I have a um, <clears throat> Uh, iPad stand here from a company called Modular Hose. It's modularhose.com. It costs about 80 bucks. Um, and it's a, a really a great tool for holding your iPad. It can help your iPad be a document camera or it can hold it while you're teaching. And it has big clamps. You can clamp it onto any table or desk. <clears throat> Quite handy. All right, so let's say that I wanted to uh, start this project. All right, now um, you can see I can start taking pictures here. You can see there's a little camera over there takes a little picture and you saw down there along the bottom down here um, you saw that there's my first picture um, and if I want a little help here um, because when I uh, when I um, move you know start moving this it'd be nice to have some sense of where the previous picture was taken so you can see over here on the left I can create a ghost or an onion skin so I can see the previous frame. Okay, so that's what that's for. Um, also, um, I can turn on um, a grid, but now I've forgotten where my, oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, <laughs> all right, good thing we can go back and continue working on an existing project. Um, I have forgotten where Oh, there it is. It's this little plus down there. So the plus over there turns on a little grid that again, again, helps me keep things lined up. So you know, maybe um, I'm going to sort of keep my keep my square right inside of there. Um, of course, I've got that picture. Oops, got a little other alarm coming up. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. And uh, there's my first picture, and I'm going to, uh, you know, I've maybe did a little planning. I'm going to sort of divide this up into fours just to kind of make it interesting so I can, so I show. So cut it a little bit. Again, I have these nice little tools to help me keep things lined up pretty well. All of that first image I should get rid of, and let me get rid of it here quick. Okay, so I just tapped and held on that, and I can delete that one, so I can start fresh. So there's going to be my first first thing. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this into four pieces beforehand, because that's what I want it to, to look like. Ooh, that wasn't quite in force, but you guys get the idea. Actually, there's a fresh one. Okay, and so I'm going to say this is one. Okay. All right, so I start taking pictures. There's the first picture. And then I'm going to cut it in half. 
And again, need some help getting it lined up so I can fade that out a little bit. So there's that first cut. Take another picture, maybe spread it apart a little bit. You can see I'm going to move it a little bit each time. Take a picture. Okay, and there's that much. Now let's cut this one in half. Okay, now it's not recording my voice, of course. It's just recording these photos so I can get that lined up. There's another picture. Start moving it apart a little bit. And of course, if you've got a couple of kids working on this, um, it can go a lot faster. Okay, so there's that one. That side done. Let me cut the other one here. You can see with this uh, onion skinning tool, that's the part, that's the one that makes it transparent. And with these grid lines, it can really help me keep things lined up and it'll make for a much better result. Okay, so if I was asking kids to demonstrate what one-fourth is, <clears throat> maybe now um, I start having these things move out of the way because I just want them to show me what one-fourth is. So maybe some of these other pieces go all the way out of the picture. All right, there's my one-fourth. That was too far. So if you want a better, a more smooth animation, of course, less, less movement. There's my one. Maybe take a couple pictures of it. Let it spin around, because that would look kind of fun. Okay, so a simple stop motion like this um, can be done, right, just in a few minutes. Don't have to get out the clay. Don't have to write a story. Um, and it makes it so kids could just quickly demonstrate what one-fourth was in kind of a fun way. Um, lots of stop-motion projects out there. Lots of um, storytelling that can happen with you know extravagant sets and clay. Um, and now we're back to one. And let's just say that's good enough um, there. Now, right inside the app, if I press this play button over here on the upper left-hand side, it will, okay, let's pause that. <clears throat> Let me turn off the onion skinning. Go back to the start here and press the play button. Then we can watch the, um, the video happen. There's my one, oh, got my finger in there once or twice. So, and there it is, back together. Now it's just looping. So I took 44 pictures in just a few minutes and created a nice little fun animation. Um, if you go on to YouTube and you search for stop motion animation, you'll see all sorts of interesting uh, animations that are uh, being created. And this is a nice way to start to introduce it to students, to have them demonstrate um, something they've learned. <clears throat> Now, uh, just a little extension here. Um, so the video is already created. All those still pictures, they've already been turned into a video. Um, if I go back out here, that little, this little button right here, that X, which closes this project, takes me back out to the front. Okay, so there's my project. Now, if I was wanted to narrate this or make it part of a bigger project, I could send it out of um, this stop motion studio and I'm going to send it to my camera roll, okay, So, and I'll just make it medium just so that it goes fast. Okay, so it's going to my camera roll now, and if I wanted to, um, if I wanted to make this part of a bigger project, and to edit it, and add music, and to add other things to it, I could send it to my camera roll, and then open up iMovie, Okay, and we'll just use this project we're already in here. So you can see an iMovie up here in the upper right under videos. Um, iMovie already knows about this video. So I could tap it um, and add the whole thing down. And now it's part of this iMovie, which I could edit it, I could narrate it, I could add music to it. Um, if I wanted to make it into a bigger project. Okay, guys, that's Stop Motion Studio HD. Of course, Stop Motion, it has a lot more, uh, quite a few more features that I didn't talk about. It also, um, well, it has a timer that if you want to take a picture every two seconds instead of you having to come back and tap on it. There's also a companion app for an iPod Touch or an iPhone that's a remote control for the camera. So if you didn't want to, ha if you didn't want to have to tap on the screen every time, um, makes it a little more convenient. Uh, so with that, thanks for watching.